school, but wow, what a fighter he's become. You know, he is a really good right-handed puncher. He's an aggressive fighter. He doesn't just eat punches on the way in, but he's the more compact puncher of the two. A lot of times a guy has a good straight right hand against another guy, and Gutierrez in case with a good left hook, the right hand lands first. But of all three fights on the card tonight, Bob, this is the most evenly matched and the one that promises the most back-and-forth fireworks. His entire family has come to Trim to watch him. In fact, some of his sisters made the drive all the way from Omaha, Nebraska to see Alfredo perform tonight. Time for the introductions. Once again, here's Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, from Terribles, Prim Valley Casino Resorts, Nevada, this next contest is brought to you by Gary Shaw Promotions and Arena Box Promotions in association with Affliction Band. Of course, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the three judges assigned to ringside, Dwayne Ford. Robert Hoyle, Dave Moretti, and inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action, Tony Weeks. And now 10 rounds of boxing. This is in the light middleweight division. On the line, the vacant WBO Intercontinental Championship. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black. Officially weighing 152 pounds. An outstanding record consisting of 24 victories, including 14 knockouts, only one defeat from Arona, Colombia. Here is Richard El Toro Gutierrez. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with silver. Official weight, 154 pounds. A perfect professional record, consisting of 12 bouts. 12 victories, including nine knockouts. Namas y caballeros de Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico. The undefeated Alfredo El Perro Angola. Take it up. Gabriel, ustedes recibió sus instrucciones. Mira, aquí está bien, aquí no. Mira, aquí está bien, aquí no. Yo quiero una plenipia. Escúcheme, cuídate. Listos, vámonos. Angulo goes by the nickname El Perro, which means dog. His people say that out of the ring, he's like a puppy. But he has the tenacity of a pit bull. That's out. Gutierrez that's has some locked jaw himself, that's Bob. Out. This no. is going to be fun. No. Get Tony Weeks doing a little housekeeping, getting a towel out of the corner. We are underway. Round number one scheduled for 10. Gutierrez has the red gloves and Gulo with the black hook to the body by Angulo Gutierrez says that Angulo will come forward and I'll be able to pick him apart. Second time we've seen Gutierrez brought in as the opponent. The first time he was undefeated, fought Joshua Claudia, and Claudia, it turns out, is an elite fighter. The win against Gutierrez is meaningful. If you can beat this guy, maybe Vangolo does easily, but uh, a win is far from a certainty here. This is a kind of a pick em kind of fight. Well, feeling out process, good uppercut by Gutierrez. And if you notice, both styles are very complementary to each other. And Gutierrez has a, has a style, a more boxing style. Get up, get up, get up, get up. 
both of these guys heavy-handed. Angulo trying to dig to the body. Straight left hand by Gutierrez found the mark. Dropping left from Gutierrez. They exchange big shots. Great right hand from Gutierrez. And Gulo digs back to the body and then to the head. Right hand from Gutierrez. Snaps another right hand. Does Gutierrez. Gutierrez is getting the better of some of these exchanges with the right hand, which is Angulo's Sunday punch. Gutierrez seems like he's controlling the action in the ring, too. He's doing what he wants to do. He's not getting hit with any silly punches, and he's throwing them when he wants to. And he seems like the guy that's looking right now, looking for that good, that perfect shot. Gutierrez again used the jab. Good left hook to the body by Angulo. Gutierrez fires a right to the body, caught the elbow of Angulo. Angulo seems to be saying to himself, he's, he's doing the backing up. He wants to study the situation more and see what kind of combinations he can throw. Angulo trying to finish off the round and find form. Good action in round one. Respira profundo. Breathe deeply. Use the jab some more. Use the jab. Bring your hands up and use the jab. And be careful with those hooks. Use the jab and get the right into the body, into the chest. And be careful with the last 30 seconds. You've got to keep up the pace. Use the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. Double up. And bring that right into the chest. He's, he's weak. He's weak. He's got nothing on you. Come on, bring him up. Bring him up. Good work rate for Alfredo Angulo and Richard Gutierrez in round number one. Both guys had their moments. Did Angulo steal the round with that flurry at the end of the first? It did seem to hurt Gutierrez there, Bob. It looked like to me a little at the end. I didn't think he. I didn't think he hurt him. What he did was just throw a lot of, a lot of good punches and caught him with a few. Both guys showing good chin so far. Gulo threw 127 punches according to CompuBox. 87 with power shots. Landed 33 of 127. Gutierrez, a little bit more economical with 70, landing 24 of 70. It is interesting, Lennox. You see two guys that really have similar styles going yeah. against each other. It's great. It's, you know, I, I always say it's, it's all strategy, and it's always it's like a chess match out there. Who can figure out the first guy first? And Gulo's left hand a little low. That was very low. Tony Weeks acknowledges it. No, 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 no. It's a balance. And Guelo seems like he's giving up ground. I don't think he needs to really give up ground. I think he needs to go forward. And forward with a right hand and a left hand backing up Gutierrez. Both exchange in the middle of the ring. You know, if there is a difference technically between the two, while Gutierrez seems to feel okay on his toes, Angolo punches straighter. Angulo hooks to the body after landing a right hand. Angulo has a cut on the right side of his head. But don't, didn't see the punch that caught him there. Angulo digging with both hands to the body. Effectively. And in those exchanges, when the hands are really flying, those straighter punches, those more direct punches, could tell the difference. Yeah, Gutierrez is elected to go on his toes. I think he's better on his toes. You know, standing there, walking forward and getting hit and trading shots isn't a good style for him. When you know, when you're a good boxer, I think you should 
go back to your box and use that jab and use that footwork. As I mentioned, a lot of these Colombian fighters we see, real good punchers, talented guys, they're tough, but without extensive international experience in the amateurs, they're at a disadvantage against similarly talented fighters at the, in the, at the professional level. We saw Gutierrez moments ago with a straight back, ate a left hand. Final seconds of the second round scheduled for 10. Great action. Stopping right hand by Angulo to end the round. Relax, relax. Relax. There's nothing there. I'll work there on the head. Careful with his uppercut.